What's up, guys? I'm going to do something a little different here today. See if I've got this figured out. Everybody let me know if you can hear me. Can you see me? Is my potato internet working? All right. Let's let some people get in here. Oh. All right, everything's working. That's good. That's good. I'm a little bit early. Yes, I know the pick is small, and that is on purpose because today we're going to be doing something a little different. Let me pull up my stream on my phone here so I can kind of keep an eye on things. I've got the chat window pulled up here. Your picture. All. <laughs> uh, we'll do a little Q&A for a few minutes while we get some people in here. Oh, uh, let's see here. Scott, uh, I'm going to do the video on the brown Chevy truck I just bought. We'll be on this, what, Tuesday? Now, if you're a member of the Look Buck Club, uh, like all those people, Fancy Stars, it's out right now. It's been out for a few days. Or members. Uh, all right so yeah marketplace is of course the worst thing ever created uh and uh it, it it's like craigslist but worse in every single conceivable fashion right so but this is what we have to work with these days right so let's see what we can find on here you know people ask me all the time like how do you uh how do you find all these deals on cars and stuff and you know i get i, I do get pretty good deals on cars but the thing is you hunt for it and i'm just going to show you how i hunt for stuff you know and by stuff i literally mean stuff on marketplace here so whenever you open up your marketplace you're going to get like your today's picks and that's going to be just like stuff that facebook thinks you want and that might be anything from milwaukee half inch impacts to bicycles to dirt bikes to cars to pinball machines or whatever that is to donkeys to you know questionable services things like that and so there's a few of these I've clicked on already today. Ooh, hey, look at this. Look at that, huh? Kevin bought one of these. Maybe I need a match for it. Dang. Little Toyota Winnebago. It's a little rougher than his. It had locked up. Ran till the oil was gone. 2000 firm well not that firm he dropped 1800 bucks but anyway what i'm gonna do is i so i've got her set up right here i've got but within 500 miles of kansas City, that's where i'm at, right? so uh i don't typically look that far out i usually look about 200 miles out but hey you know i figured uh Figured, you know, maybe somebody would be closer to something. Maybe we find something good, right? So let's go hunting, shall we? So here's how I do it, right? I just go over to the search bar. And you can see some of my searches, you know, and they're usually ears. And also something that's kind of weird, maybe, is a Beretta GTZ. That's something I'm, I'm kind of on the hunt for. So we might go looking for that. Uh and I'm very particular about wanting a Beretta GTZ only. But let's start with years, right? So I always do 55 and up because those are the cars I'm interested in generally. So let's see what we got here. Uh, 
Oh, look at this. Here we go. See, now that looks like a decent deal, right? We got a 55 Ford. It's a four door, but who cares? Uh, let's see here. Uh, she runs and drives. She's got a clean title, brand new tires, new brake lines, fuel lines, and a gas tank. Open the trade. See, now this is a guy I could deal with. I think. Hey, Bill Carl looks pretty dang good. I mean, that's a driver right there. Although, I wonder if it's a six. But still, I mean, look at that. Look at those floors, man. Those are good. That's not bad. And so he's twenty six. He's 2500 bucks is what he's got up here. It's listed 10 weeks ago. So here's what you want to look for. Is how long has this been up, right? It's still up. So if I were to message this guy and say, 1500 cash, I'll come get it tomorrow. I bet he would take it. Or he's open to trades, right? So maybe you've got a dirt bike, or maybe you've got a four wheeler, maybe you got a boom boom stick or something. You know, you could swap for that. Not that I would ever do that. Well, yes, Christopher, of course, hasn't only driven 300 miles, but you just got to assume that. So if you know, messaged him, you know, then and said it's only got 300 miles on it he's going to ignore you so anyway oh dude look at boy that's a beauty right there way out of my price range. look at that that is a that is a great period custom right there. oh it's way better without the full moons on it man that's a good looking chevy you, know, you don't see that treatment done to the Chevy too often Three eighty three five speed. Of course, he has a. What what is it with people making plaques about their cars? I don't. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, let's see here. Dang, we got almost three hundred people in here. Right on, guys. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, sixty four Malibu. This is probably the first car I remember riding in. Uh, when I was a kid. Had a 64 Malibu SS, and man, I'd, I'd love to have that. 8,900 cash. It's probably worth that, I guess. Runs and drives good. Has an issue with the neutral safety switch. If you can't figure out how to bypass that, I don't know how to help you. That's not a bad deal. Let's see here. All right, so I hate this. If you list things like this, one, two, three, four, five, you're scum. Why do you do that? Stop. You make me click on it. And yeah, you got a bunch of cars here. Just pick the lowest price car you got and use that as the price. That said, it's a pretty good deal. Coupe surprised from 500 to 1800. 2000 convertibles are two to 25. No fastbacks. I, I would take a 67 Coupe. I really like that car. There's a 67 Coupe right there. V8 car, too. That's a, a 65. Uh, my first car was a 65 Mustang, just like that. We got a Galaxy thrown in the mix here for fun. <laughs> that is a 64. Sixty-five convert or yeah, sorry, sixty-five convertible. That's a bargain. Oh, look at that one. That one had a Mako paint job not too long ago, maybe 20, 30 years ago. Let's see here. Looks like this guy's got my tires. He's got them nittos on it. 49 DeSoto with a 5.7 Indian. Nah, not interested. Uh, let's see here. Um, see, some of these people are on crack. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game here, right? So on a scale of 1 to 10, we find a real good one, you know. We're going to rate it from totally dead sober to raging crackhead, 1 to 10, right? So when we find some prices that are just through the crazy 
then we can judge whether or not they're a raging crackhead or not. So let's see here. Uh, let's find us a good crackhead. They're never too far apart. Let's see. These people are way too reasonable, actually. Hmm. Wow. Two door, 59. Oh man. This this is the first car I can remember from being a kid was my dad's 59 Chevy with those wheels on it actually. Wow. God, it's a freaking Batmobile right there. Hmm. What else we got? Man, they, they, I was really hoping to find some raging crackheads here, but all I found are decent deals. Let's try a different year. Let's go to 56 and see if we find some crackheads in there. Hmm. God, that's probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, cool. It's got a 5.3 in it. My way to be different. You know? $67,000. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Now, one thing I would like to know is... Uh, if I'm typing in 1956, why is this 1964 Malibu showing up? I, I hate to know about this. Damn. Dan from DD Speed Shop needs to find this baby. That's a pretty solid deal. I mean, it's got the walk-through floor in it. Straight six. Pretty cool. Hmm. Let's see. What else can we find in here? Uh, God, that's another good deal. So, this is what I mean. Guys. Deals are out there. You just got to go look for them. And you got to be willing to grab a trailer and go get it. You know? If, uh, if you're too picky, you're never going to find anything. But if you're willing to be a little flexible, you can find stuff like that. Look at that. There's a thousand dollars for that. Are you kidding? Parts only. I consider guns and ammunition in great. Not that I would ever do such a thing. But uh, I'll be dead. Oh my. It's got the headlight. What do you say? Going on there. And cool appliance mag wheels on it, though. That's pretty cool. Well, has it got the full set of those mags? Those are worth some. Look like 14s. Hmm. She got the dual radius headlights. Yeah, exactly. Lower your standards, country boy. Gas garage. You're right. If you lower your standards, like this car is totally reasonable. Like, don't worry about it. It's cheap. Just buy it. Put it in your yard. Wait for it to get done. It will surely fix itself someday. Oh. Boy, that's two lane black top if I've never seen it. Wow, that's cool. Hmm. Let's see. Still not seeing a lot of raging crackheads. I know there's some more local. honest with you. Boy, that's a different car. You don't see that every day. Is that worth 35 grand? I have no idea. Hey, thank you, Scagaloni. Scagaloni? Yeah, you're right. Get a hundred thousand subs. Audio cutting out. Well, 
Guys, I can't do anything about my interwebs. Probably trying to do too much. I'll have to upgrade my mic at some point, I guess, but I don't really do the live stream thing that much, so it's never been a priority of mine. But if it's you know it's popular, I might do this every you know, maybe every month or something. We just do a search for crackheads on Facebook. That'd be kind of fun. Now here's a potential crackhead. We got a uh, 74 Maverick, right? It's a two door. He brought it from California. Uh, no rust suspension and new brake pads. So it has $10 brake pads on it. Yep. Not a selling point. Uh, I used weekend only for summer time. And that was almost English. Good thing he blocked out the license plate that is visible from the street and in public everywhere he goes. That way, the government won't get them. But it is a BB Maverick driver. That's a four thousand dollars car. I mean, I, come on! Like it's got this stupid BNF ratchet shifter. It has the forty dollars Grant steering wheel. This thing is quite trash deluxe, and I love it. But not for twenty-five hundred dollars. The tires are HP four thousands. Those are from the nineties at best. That's a good solid four thousand dollar car. So we found a, a on the scale of crackheads, yeah, an eight. I, I country boy gas garage. I think I call it. Seven. It's not like full on like you know drinking and offering to do stuff for you know, crack money, but he's almost there. You know, he maybe he got a fix yesterday or something, but he's not super desperate. All right, let's move on to nineteen fifty seven and see what we got. Uh, Let's see. Okay, this is a potential crackhead. Now it's a good looking square. Has 350s center bolt valve covers. Like that means anything at all, except that it's probably a TBI engine. Or at the best, a later model. So, like, yeah, it's okay. The truck needs bodywork, paint. I can tell the white has been re-sprayed, but it's not too hard to tell. The white has been sprayed over the blue, looks like. So there's probably lots of mud inside of your wheel wells. Wouldn't scare me off. Maybe for like three grand. Yeah. That's probably like a four out of ten practice. Uh, let's see here. Hey, there's a deal. 57 Ranchero. Picture taken by Potato. Pretty straight. The motor is not locked up. It's all filled. Separation causing the sell of the sale. Not sell, sale. He also has a 58. Pictures hollow. Wow. You know, that's a pretty good project. Looks like he's got some wiring in there or something. Pretty solid looking. It's an Oklahoma car, so it's not so bad. And yeah, those wheels are bad. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this thing's been for sale for a long time. I just need to hit on and get off here. What an ugly vehicle that is. Kind of cool though. I mean, I'd, I'd probably rock that. That's not a bad deal. Got a clean title, eleven hundred bucks. The back glass been out of it for twenty eight years, so you know it's probably full of poop. Uh, let's see. All right, let's move on. Not a lot of fifty seven anything's on there. How about a C five? for almost $20,000. Adult-driven, garage-kept car with a handicap. 
I mean, does it give you a stereotypical this guy? Uh, has every option available? And he has three pictures of them, two of them from the same angle. No side pictures, no other pictures. That car is worth every bit of ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, let's see. You know, fifty-one Chevy there, fifty-eight Chevy, sixty Cadillac. Ooh, hey, there we go. Fifty-eight Chevy four door. You got what? Two four doors in Salem, Illinois. Oh, hey, that's a hard top. Or hard top. Beware, it's an X-frame car. I think, yeah, 58's an X-frame car, right? So, let's see. That's not bad looking, though. Those are builders. Small block. Are you kidding me? It's a blue small block, though, so you know it's a later model. They went to corporate in, uh, what, 76. So... It's, like a, it's probably a 350 or something in it. Oh, it says it has a 350 in it. It's not a bad deal. It's 1500 for both? Yes, it is. That's a solid price. No crackheads there. Let's find some crackheads. Hmm. Hmm. This might be a crackhead. Ah, uh, yes. So it's got, it has all caps. So that is uh, all capital letters there. So we know it's clearly a genius. Uh, no financing. Oh, son of a bitch. Wow, what a, I mean, look, it's probably a rare car. Eighteen thousand five hundred or twenty-two thousand dollars with the trial power setup. This is a level ten crackhead. Absolute level ten crackhead. I know what I got. No low baller. Yeah. Also, example X frame. If you trust in the rockers, that thing's done. Thanks, Junker Clunkers. He's got a lot of crap for it. Look, these uh, those chrome will cover up the missing side of the car. That's cool. Uh, what else we got? That's a level ten. Let's see here. What else we got? Sixty nine Le Mans. Twenty two thousand dollars. Got GTO fenders, chrome front bumper. It's it's a Le Mans, it's not a GTO. Although the chrome bumper looks an option. It's got a video running. It's pretty high. It's really high. Uh, let's see here. This worth ten grand. Pretty sure that's probably 10 grand. Everything you need to build and maintain roads on your farm or in your county. <laughs> Good sales pitch. I took them by that. I don't have the money. Ooh, a Manx. May trade for something cool. See, that's fun. summertime fun. It's really cool. I hate the mismatch diameter wheels. Like, no. 15s all the way around or 14s. I don't think that's a real Manx. I'm not too totally familiar with them, but the front end is right to me. Let's see here. Okay, 47 Ford. Runs and drives. Drive at home. Project car. Spotlight visor. So... There are these things called commas and periods that can make your English function. It's amazing. However, you know, that's 
I was gonna. I, I clicked on this expecting crackhead, but you know what? It's got a small block in it. Oh, it's got. Why? What is going? That's a square body Chevy steering column. What on earth is going on here? I don't. Impala bucket seats. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see here. Got anything else here? What's this? A 65 Mustang with one stripe on it. 302. I can't believe that's a $15,000 car now. That was a $5,000 car at best, maybe five years ago. But I'm not going to call him a crackhead because, you know, it, uh, I, I guess it probably is worth that. I don't. I'm, people are so crazy these days. Except for here. Look at this 67 Mustang. Five lugs, so we know it's a V8 car. It uh, has a flat hood on it, though. It has the wrong emblem on this side. That's a 68 Fender and Porter, actually. Uh, what else we got? It's got a five lug axle. 302. I think it's a 68. It's not a 67. All matching serial numbers on the body. I don't think so. I think it's had two on it. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? 51 Chrysler Saratoga with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 number. I'm not even going to call you because just put your price there. You know, if you're stupid, people will surely let you know. Let's see. We got a 48 Ford F1 for $20,000. Okay, I think we have found a level 10 crackhead. Original barn find, but it doesn't have the barn dust. What are, you, uh, what are you trying to pull here, man? Where's the original barn dust? Also, the photos are taken with a potato. Like, there's more. I, I can count pixels here nice truck but it's probably worth every bit of ten thousand i would think not 20 grand do, do, do. let's see a model t well that's something i'm totally unfamiliar with 73 torino sport with ugly stripes on it Everything works, except for, I bet, not everything works. Oh, my God, those wheels. God, you know what? I'd give them five grand just to throw those in the dumpster. Uh, hood was painted just last year. Wow, that, you did that on purpose, huh? Uh, let's see. I mean, that's not bad, but it's a... It's a notchback Torino. It's a 73 big bumper car. It's not worth it. But I'd say he's probably a 4 out of 10 crackhead. He's not full-blown crackhead. Not yet. What else we got? Let's go ahead and move up to 59. And then I, I do want to go look for my... Uh, Beretta GTZ. I, I'm I'm hunting for one of those. Here's a 59 Ford like JD's. Let's see if his is worth fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Thirty-five thousand miles. Doubt it. Runs great, drives great, like driving on a cloud. No, it isn't. Uh, lost interest in it. Have a new master cylinder for it. Yes. Yeah, so, it's a four door. Oh my God, dude. No. It's a 292 automatic. If this car is worth 15 grand, then JD's car is worth $25,000. I mean, this car has been painted. You can tell right down here, looks like some primer showing. I mean, give me a break, man. Those cars do not look good in a four door. It's got way too small of tires on it. It's got the wrong wheels on it. I, no way. 
Now, I do approve of the car seat in the front in a car that doesn't have seat belts. So that's good. I like four-door cars just as much as anybody, but they are worth less than two-door cars. It doesn't matter that a two-door version of it is worth X amount. A four-door version is worth less. Uh, what else we got? I think it's kind of funny, the things that you guys pick up on versus the things that I just, like, glance right by. I, it's it's weird that, you know, we look at things differently. How about this 59 Ford? 352 power steering. Car runs great. It's $8,500. It's a four-door post. And it, I mean, it looks a little rougher, I guess, in a picture than the other one. But I'm buying this car and saving that $7,000 all day long. It's got the right tires on it, at least. It's got the correct wheels on it. That is a correct wheel cover for that car. Uh, bumper looks decent here. It's got the this stainless trim behind the quarter is worth big bucks. Halfway decent looking interior. A few rips. But not bad. I mean, I would honestly be somewhat interested in that, but it's still a four-door. I mean, that's a $4,000 car. Somebody said I passed over something that was fifty grand. What was that? There's another Edsel that's priced big time high. I'm just not really seeing anything like. But so like I, this car fully restored. I mean, oh my god, dude! The '90s called. And they want their ugly, hideous motion wheels back. Like, how could you even have that on your car lot as a scummy used car dealer? Like, throw those away. Get the, like, scrap them. They're worth, like, 50 bucks a pop, you know? It's, oh, velour. Okay, so this car is not a $60,000 car. It's not nicely restored. It's restored by typical, you know, I hate to say it, but typical boomer fashion. You know, it's got the under dash cassette player. It's got the velour seat and door panels. It's got the Dollar General floor mats. At least it has the 348, not a small block in it. That's cool. But, I mean, come on. That's not even a resto mod. That's like, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's an 80s resto mod. Uh, let's see. There we go, 59 two-door post. There's a nice solid looking in the quarters. Rocker looks decent. It's not a bad looking car. It's got the typical rot in the front of the fenders. There's some mud in it. This rocker looks decent from here. So if you were selling this car, you would really want to open the doors and have pictures of the rockers. It's the most important part of an X-frame car. It's the structure of the body. Uh, but it looks pretty good. Totally gutted, though. Somebody used it for parts or something. No title. Very hard to find car. Well, we found about, what, you know, 10 of them? <laughs> They're not that fun. But that car is probably worth it. Ooh, I would be into this. 59 Edsel villager six cylinder auto not running needs a lot of work but it's rare you know why it's rare buddy because they're ugly as hell <laughs> that's uh they're garbage man. i mean nobody wanted these forever until very very recently that's why they're all gone but it is cool and i would totally rock it no title and you want forty five hundred dollars for it though you're crazy I mean, I know in Mississippi, you don't necessarily need the title, but you do in most other states. So you probably ought to get one. Let's see. And to clarify, I'm not really shopping for me. I'm just kind of shopping in general. Uh, just kind of poking around, you know. This is what any self-respecting car guy does, right? I mean, you know, constantly search for things they don't need and can't afford. So. 
Okay, I smell a crackhead already. Let's see. Uh, 74 Grand Torino, uh, and it has the horrible opera window cut into it. Uh, 460. Looks like a fully uh, fully loaded car, 8-track. Uh, it's got skirts on it. Awful. God, that is an ugly car. Okay. <laughs> But, I mean, the paint's gone on it. It needs a paint job. It's missing some trim. Looks nice, though, but still, can you believe that's a $6,500 car? I don't. The 460 makes it kind of weird, though. Got to admit that. It's definitely original mileage. But 100,000 miles is quite a bit. That's a lot of mileage on an old car, you know? People got rid of them at 100,000. If you got a hundred thousand out of an old car, you were doing well. That means that car is just about due to have some sort of major replacement done to it. Oh, what else have we got here? Uh, wait, does this this looks familiar? God, those wheels are awful. Why? Look at that. It looks like a Hot Wheels. Look how offset they are. They stick out past the, the fender and quarter. What are you doing, people, with your wheels? Look at ugh, ugh. I mean, that's a better deal than that other Mustang we found, though. That's for sure. Throw those wheels away, and you've got yourself a car, I think. They probably look good on, like, an F-150 or something. Let's see here. Ah, that on to beer number two. Okay, so you can buy that Mustang that looks like it's at least functional and it's ready to go. Or you can buy this guy's problems. Huh? Look, he's got the uh, quarters mocked up. So you can just bolt them right on, you know. Nothing to it. This. He's got two of them, or is that the same car? Looks like another, yeah, it was another one that was a complete car and had some pissant little bit of rust in it that chopped it up into pieces. That's genius. There we go, 78 vet. It's not too bad. Needs brake work. The brakes suck to do on these. Ask me how I know. So he's got it for four grand. He listed it 13 weeks ago. Uh, look at those cool Remington tires. That's really cool. But also note on how tucked into the fender well this front tire is. It's something going on there. Redneck lowering or something like that. Windshields, oh my goodness, that busted bigger than hell. Oh my God, something ate the steering wheel. <laughs> I'd, uh, it's got an eight track player in it. Oh man, the birdcage and that thing's gone. But even still, I'd probably, uh, I mean, I'd probably give two grand for this. And you know what? It's been on there for what? three and a half months he might consider two grand you know let's see what other idiots can we find <sighs> 56 chevy two-door you know i've noticed tri fives have been going down in price lately that's a good sign it's a good sign. Hey, there's a crackhead maverick guy he's still around all right Yeah, uh, grease belly. I daily drive a '75 Fed. In fact, I just sold my 2018 Chevy Malibu for payoff, so I can get out of the car payment. And now my only cars to drive are pretty much Old Blue, the Eagle, and my Vet. What could go wrong? Oh, oh. Excuse me. It's about beer thirty. Oopsie. Sorry. All right, 65 Convair, Chevrolet Convair. 
everything stock on this car well that is immediately false the seats aren't stock the paint isn't stock it's got exhaust on it it has hideous 90s wheels on it been sitting underneath the tree about five years all the interiors all original factory radio no cutouts have a clean title no trade series people only why can't people write english i don't understand how can people speak english and then they just don't know that like commas exist i don't know maybe i'm a prude hang on gotta adjust the camera That's better. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's this? Seller's description, hidden information. That means somebody put a phone number in there and that's it. And so there's no information. There's no way to contact them. Yeah, you're not how the interwebs work people that's just not how they work all right 66 mustang let's go ahead and move on to 61. actually real quick i'm going to look for a beretta but i'm only interested in a gtz Holy God, look at the wrist on that thing. Good thing, hey, it's a good thing that he covered up the license plate. Otherwise, I'd be able to find him and steal that Beretta. Look at the white letter tire on that. It's full of stuff, so it's a hoarder. 90s graphics on the side, pretty cool. Walmart hubcaps, pretty cool. It's an automatic, so it's not a GTC. Oh, God, that's scary. Ah, oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm probably not driving to Wisconsin for that. Is that the only Beretta? Oh, no, here we go. Wow. That, that is. There's a Z26, which I really wouldn't want that. Does not run. Broke cam. Yeah, not doing that. I'm really looking for one of these, though. If, uh, if anybody ever runs across a GTZ, that's the only one I'd really be interested in. I mean, that's not a bad looking car, but it's not worth $3,000. Well, anyway, let's get back to the old stuff. Uh, I kind of forgot where we were at. 62, something like that. Hemi Olds, they do not have a North Star engine. They no. Where does this information come from? Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Sixty four Galaxy. One dollar. Not too lazy to put the price, I guess, huh? Uh, okay. It's a V eight stick. It's a two door. That's cool. Trade, 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 trade. All for one, all four. Uh, oh, he's got a 63 Galaxy convertible. He's got a 64 Galaxy four door. 62 Galaxy two door was a 390. Yeah, he's got some. Ooh, that convertible's worth big bucks, man. I do wonder what he actually wants for them. That would be key to know. Like, I am not even going to message you. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not not even going to message you because you won't put a price there. It's not worth my time. So I'm going to ask you and you're going to be like, I don't know, $50,000. Here's a good way to sell a car with pictures of it from clearly about 40 years ago. Oh, he's wanted a 60. Okay, you're in the wrong section. Let's see here. Those 58 Chevys fetch a good price, so that guy's not totally on crack. I found a pretty good van in Tennessee earlier. 
Ooh, dream car of mine right here. 62 Pontiac Bonneville. Built 421 and three uses? No way. Motors worth what he's asking for that. So he's lying. That's a nice car. Son of a bitch. Well, I bet he doesn't show any. It's got the freaking air cleaner, though. Man. Bet he doesn't show any casting numbers. No, he doesn't, of course. They're right on top on a Pontiac. They're not hard to see. I severely question whether that is a built 421, but it sure as hell has got a 3-2 setup on it. That is a bargain. I want that really bad. How far away is Indianola, Mississippi from me? I wonder. Probably pretty far. See, this is why I shouldn't even be off here. Shouldn't even be doing this. What am I doing here? Let's see here. Buy it. I, I'm not rich. Okay. I, not. I need to join the low buck club. Huh? If I get 7,900 of you to join the low buck club, I can go buy that bottom Ooh, that's a bargain. 65 Corvair. Fair for age with one picture. I mean, how do you expect to sell that, dude? Uh, I, uh, that's, come on, man. Another 64 Chevelle. So you could buy that other 64 Chevelle that runs and drives. And is a two door hard drive. Or you can buy this one in pieces for more money. Huh? Doesn't that sound like a bargain? Like, come on, man. Not going to happen, dude. You're correct, Project Q. It is 99 cents. I cannot call it a buck club, it is a less than a dollar club join my membership channel and you can go see the new video that's out right now if you join i asked this guy what he wanted for this i was actually looking at this car because uh, i thought it was cool it says shoot me an offer so i asked him what he was thinking on it and he said like twenty thousand dollars or something like that and i'm not kidding at all i'm like no dude no <laughs> Hmm. Oh, this has been for sale locally for quite a while. I think this is a good deal here. Uh, nice, solid looking car. Big time, dirty, merry, crazy Larry vibes. That's a car I'd love to have. Four door post, just like this. Uh, 283 with a power glide, has a four barrel on it now. Uh, it, it runs and drives in the frame under the left front door is broken he says and it's it's bad i mean it is broken clean across but that's fixable even by a hack like me i've done it uh i mean you just put in a new piece of steel there and i don't know call it good i'd run it so i don't i see people like uh where uh you know where is a uh, Tempest or something like that. So when I search on Facebook, I don't search for a specific model car because watch. If I type in like a lot, I'll get a bunch of them. It actually worked pretty good this time. But normally when you type in a specific car, you end up with like 6,000 of exactly what you did not want to look at. Oh, my God. What the meth is going on here? Uh, oh my that's a fairly nice car that has been completely ruined uh, Marf. Sierra. hey that could be a good deal 65 Ooh, is that uh, I thought it was an overhead cam 6 yeah, a little 326 nothing wrong with that Seven grand? 
That's not bad. That's a great cruise night material car for somebody. I wish I could see the pictures, but again, they were taken with a digital camera from 1999. Uh, let's see here. 70 Cutlass for $6,000. Testing the waters. Okay, so you don't want to sell it. Odometer has around 10,000 miles on it. And that's not 10,000 miles, you doofus. Everybody knows it's a five-digit odometer. If you don't, then you should sell that car. Not bad looking, though. Oh, oof. That's a hard hit. It's fixable, though. I wouldn't even cut that quarter off. A handwritten title. That's... I'm sure that would be a piece of cake to get titled. Yeah. Somebody financed that back then? Better put every piece of paper it came with on here with all their personal information. That's great. Genius. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. There we go. There's a goat to make it right there. That's a custom S, actually. That's a, that's a pretty good bargain. Oh, a lot of rot back here. It looks like something may or may not have fallen on it at some point. Not what you really want to see, you know. Yeah. Comes with motor, not trans. I bought to fix up, but don't have time. Just want what Jay got in in back. Yeah, just want what Jay got in in back. I don't you know. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh. There are some good deals here. I mean, really. But come on. Put more than two pictures on here and write a description of the vehicle. That's a, that's a Buick Apollo. Those are pretty cool. It's got a 454 in it. 3500 bucks. That could be fun. What is this? Sure as hell. That's a big block Chevy. No carb on it, completely unfinished, but still, that's a, that's a go fast right there, if you know what you're doing at all. That's pretty cool. We hit 600 people in here, awesome. Larry, we haven't been snowmobiling yet, that's at the end of February. Uh, all right. Um, whoa, no way, 68. No. What? 242 VIN, 68 GTO, 404 speed car, complete and will start and run? It's incredibly rusty. That's not the right marker light, is it, guys? Somebody will tell me. I think that's the incorrect marker light. Uh, car has a lot of rust. 7800 or trade. Where are you? Clarksville, Texas, huh? You can buy every single piece of that car. I mean, the four-speed setup in trance is worth probably 2500 bucks. But I do think that is a Le Mans marker light, not a GTO light. It is the correct one. It's 69. I know that the GTO has its own marker light. I think that's a, that's a bargain. How about this guy? Another one out of Texas. 77 Trans Am with a 72 front end or something. Runs and drives. Yeah, it is. Hey, that's kind of the best of both worlds, really. Let's see. That's not bad. That's a running, driving car with a way more desirable front flip on it. And an actual Pontiac engine still, thank God. That's a freaking steal, guys. Somebody needs to buy that. Ugh. Let's see here. Somebody wanted to look at a G-Body. This G-Body? I don't know. Is this worth it? To me, these are like ultra boring cars. I, they're just... They make good dirt track cars, you know. I don't know if it... Uh, it's got the lightning rod and 
It's cool. It's a it's a box on wheels. Ah, uh, let's see here. Hey, there's a Cutlass right here. Good looking. 70 F85. Uh, comes new parts include. So he bought a bunch of crap. Didn't know how to do any of it. Uh, let's see. But it comes with all kinds of stuff. Uh, 14 inch rallies. Two new tires. 403 and a Turbo 350 are in it, but not hooked up. Now, that's a freaking deal, guys. I mean, there's some good ones on here right now. $5,500 in Bowling Green. Let's see here. That's not bad. You know, if I'm in the market for a project car, I go walk up to this guy with $4,000 in my pocket and pick it up. That's a good looking car. Somebody needs to buy that. Ooh. 72 Firebird, Arkansas, Fayetteville. And there's the real deal version of that other red one. Uh, no transmission was originally a 354 speed. Is the pedal still in it? Then it would be good. That nose is fixable. Motor's still there. But the 72 350s are turds. Like seven and three quarter to one compression. With cinder block sitting on the center console. That's good for them. Apparently the trunk is decent or all this stuff would be on the ground. The bell housing and clutch are still in it. And the herb shifter is still in it. You know, so you can pick it up a... Uh, I guess it'd be a month. I guess it might be a Saginaw, actually, but it's not a bad deal. That'd be a fun one to do. Down south, it's probably halfway decent. There's a car that's never worth $16,000 in any kind of shape. Has keyless entry with alarm. Huh? <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? Man, that's a nice car. Oh, he blocked out that license plate. Thank God he did that, or man, we'd all be finding him right now. There's a limousine, 72 Challenger, 340 Auto, numbers matching engine. It's got a transit. It's been off the road since 90 when it was wrecked. Where was it wrecked? Doesn't look. Oh, well, that's not that bad. It's got L60s on it. That's cool. That thing's badass. Uh, that is pretty solid. I'm getting tempted by the Mopar bug again, guys. Oh, let's see. Wheels and tires don't come with it. Well, I'd have to insist on that. Disc brakes and rally gauges, though. I mean, that's a deal. That's a really good deal for somebody. Oh, Mopar guy. He's got all the numbers and BS that nobody cares about except for them on there. Hmm. What else we got here? Uh, 59 Corvette for $60,000. I mean, look, it's like a do-it-yourself. It's the world's most expensive model car. Uh Seventy-two Mustang. Are you a fastback? I'll be damned. Cobra Jet, originally a three hundred and fifty-one Cleveland with manual, no motor trans, no title, but it will have a bill of sale because not just anybody can write a bill of sale. Uh, but still, that's a good deal. Two grand for that. It's in Nebraska, so it's probably fairly rusty. Okay, so it has the of a Cobra Jet on it. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean it's a Cobra Jet, but I don't think, look at that. That's a good photo right there. I mean, you guys seeing this? You seeing this? You can clearly tell that this is Potato Central, Central right here. I mean, what are, you, what are you trying to accomplish with that? You 
you know, you have to look at those before you upload them, right? I mean, so he did that on purpose twice. Uh, this car has been for sale for way too long. Oh, so somebody had this list. This is a freaking shame. Who did this? You better not be in here. So this car was listed. Uh... And he screenshotted the actual marketplace ad from the guy he bought it from. The guy is twelve hundred dollars is what he bought it for, something like that. It was dirt cheap, complete running driving car. He buys it, pulls the motor in trance, and asks more money for it than he paid for it. You are scum. You are what is ruining the car hobby. I hate you. Uh, if you are subscribed to me, please unsubscribe immediately. Let's see. You are ruining the car culture for all future generations. All right. Um, let's see here. That's a cool car you don't see every day. Personally uh, built Pontiac 400, board 30, over with the cam. Over 400 horse. 500 pound of torque, maybe. Uh, you know, boring an engine doesn't do anything. You guys know that, right? Uh, you know, I mean, that's not, uh, it's not really how that works. Let's see. 20 grand, though. I mean, I don't know. It's four speed. It's probably worth it. Uh, let's see here. 74 year smog motors came about 73 is when smog motors came about and uh, that doesn't matter there's the same engine all you do is change the heads of the cam there's nothing to it all right this guy has a bunch of cars for sale around here and they're all total garbage but they are all cheap and that makes him good in my book this would make a great dirt track car i think I think it's got a little 350 olds in it. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, I think. 600 bucks. Go run that thing around uh, lefty, lefty, you know, no righty, righties. That'd be a good time. All right, let me go uh, get out of the Pontiacs for a little bit. Do, do, do. Have I already done? There's another 64 Chevelle. Two door hardtop, $9,500. That's motor and trans in it. Yes, it is a true SS. Really good price considering these 1964 SS is the first year and they're really rare now. He says they're rare, so they're rare, all right. Uh, I guess. Cares. All right. Um, this is 64 Fairlane, 2250. Firm on $2,000. It's a project. Uh, 289 V8. Uh, it has a title. All the chrome is in good shape. I don't know. Might make a fun little driver for somebody. Little, what? Snowflake looking wheels? It's crazy. Uh, not seeing anything too wildly outrageous here. We haven't run across a true crackhead here for a minute. Uh, what in the name of God is this? What the hell is that thing? Two two Ecotech, dude, that's cool. Rhino liner paint, like that's a good thing. Interesting. Hmm. Sixty four Catalina, that's a car I would totally rock too. Bunker Hill, Illinois, runs and drives rusty and not straight. <laughs> it's got some Joe Dirt vibes, though. 
with the Chevy truck wheels. That, I, mean, I don't know. That's probably an okay deal, I guess. Four grand. Probably get it for three. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> Straight axle. That's not sketch. Ah. Yeah, leaf over axle. Yeah, you're going to die if you try to drive that. It's cool, though. Trade only. I would be hard pressed to take a guess of what that thing's actually worth. 64 Buick Skylark. 500 bucks. Good parts car for somebody, probably. I wonder if it's got a motor in it. No aluminum brake drums. That's too bad. <laughs> see here. Another 64 Malibu. Wow, these things are all over the place. Do we already look at this? Look, it's a real SS car. Because they're rare. Rolls the steers, no brakes. Whatever. All right. Uh, ugliest Barracuda ever created. Uh, right there. Sixty-five Mustang for eight grand. I mean, what? No, dude, that's crack. Not ready for the streets. Let's see here, it's a vinyl top car. It's kind of rare, but also means the roof is completely gone. It's not bad, I guess, but it's not worth anywhere near eight thousand dollars. This is still the best 64 Malibu that I've seen so far. So if you were uh, in the market for one of those, that would be the one to get. I would never, I'm never going to say that a fastback Mustang guy is on crack because, I mean, frankly, those cars are just worth a lot of money. So, uh, you know, I, they are, they are what they are. It's a four speed car. It's a lot of money for a rusty pile that's going to need 40 grand, but. You'll get your forty grand back out of that car. However, you're not going to get your twenty-five thousand dollars back out of this GT three fifty H tribute, except for it's a coupe, dingus. It's a coupe. No matter what you do, it's still a coupe. This one's got a clean tittle. Engine and transmission are out of the car. Crazy. That's like level five crackhead. I'd like to know more about the 65 Corvair. I guess I could shoot him a message. Well, ah, I don't want to go to Indiana, though. If it was down south, I'd go, but it's too freaking cold up there. Uh, it's cold enough here. It's 65 Malibu. It's got some cool racing stickers on it. It's got one cranker on it. Was used as a drag car in the early 70s. Is that good? They, uh, that means it uh, definitely wasn't uh, ran hard or anything like that. So, But, uh, yeah, what else we got? Oh, this guy. This, I've been looking for this. Well, look at this, guys. Isn't this marvelous? 351 Windsor, bored over, B-O-R-E-D, 20, with dome top pistons and big cam. It's got a Wyland high-rise 650 CFM Holly OE carb running MSD everything, FMX transmission. Inside part is salvageable. Needs a paint job, just a paint job. You know, you never have to, like, do body work or any of the expensive stuff. Just spray it. Just take it to Mako. And look at the Ford truck wheels on this. I mean, come on. Look at, mm, is that the patina that everybody loves? I mean, isn't that, 
look at the patina there. Oh my God. And the tunnel ram, it's a single four barrel tunnel ram. I, how do you resist this? I mean, yeah, it's amazing. And he only wants $10,500 for it. I, you know, what a bargain. You couldn't possibly put $10,500 into anything better than that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, well, we just went from a level 10 crackhead to possibly another level 10 crackhead. So all the windows are broken out of this. He only wants $6,000. Thinking about selling 1965 Lincoln Continental. Four-door suicide, black on black, about 99% complete, except for, how do you say 99% complete? It's missing all of the expensive parts, like the glass, and the interior is completely destroyed. Every bit of wiring will be completely destroyed. The car is, at best, scrap metal. I would give you $500 for that on a good day. If I was feeling generous, I know it's a rare car, but it's not worth anything if it's that far gone. Somebody asked about a Delta, so uh, here we go. Uh, does not run, but needs a lot. One broken spark plug. Broken rear lower trailing arms? What does that mean? How did you do that exactly? Looks like the hood hinge is frozen over here. Not that it needs realigned. I think that hinge is frozen right there. Barn pine. It's still, see, this one still has the barn dust on it. So that means it's worth something. Got a brand new gas cap on it. Look at that. Brand spanking new gas cap. It's worth a fortune. No, I don't have any mods. I should probably get some of those. Huh? Is somebody in here being a jackass? Let's see here. How do I make someone a mod? How do, can I do that here? I don't know. I'll have to look into that, I guess. Anyway. That's a good deal, though. Two grand for that is more than reasonable. They're listed for 13 weeks in Indiana. Uh, I gotta say, I'd probably be all over that if I was local. Uh, that's a good deal. You could probably get that. He's down to two grand now. You know, fifteen hundred to buy it. That's not bad. Free. I'm not even gonna click on that. You're a jackass. Uh, how do I join the low buck club? Uh, somebody will probably share that into here. I. I've got too many windows up right now. I can't put it in there, but uh, uh, let's see here. If I knew how to make any of you guys mods, I would do it, but I don't because I'm not in YouTube right now. So, uh, But I'll look into that later. I think I can probably do that without having to be live, so. Hey, is that a Pontiac Aster? Oh, no, it's a Vega. Roadrunner. International pickup. Uh, let's see. Click on the person who you want to be a mod. I just, I can't do it from here, guys. Because I'm not actually in... Well, that is YouTube, is it not? I, don't know. I, I can't do anything. Anyway. What's the name next to the record? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. 65 Malibu, 2500. Ooh, hey, Dooley, one cup, 73 olds looks like, something like that. Oh, look at the bumper on that side of the there. That's a freaking, man, you can drive through anything with that. 
Oh, they got their 65 Ford wagon. That's a good deal. Oh, my God. That, that's the opposite of the road one. Oh, I almost bought one of these. It's a ZX2. I almost bought two of these last summer, actually, and then decided against it because I didn't think anybody would watch the content. I was probably right in that assumption. So, ooh, man, there's a sleeper. Oh, oh excuse me, guys. Sorry. I a few tall boys in. This guy's got all kinds of stuff, guys. Got to tell you, if you're looking for a project, I'd be hitting this guy up in Alvarado, Texas. Uh, Thomas Martin. He's got some good stuff. Look at that burr. That thing's clean as a whistle. It's a good deal. People will not watch anything, Grease Belly Garage. I have learned that the hard way. You want people to watch your junk and watch you work on said junk it's got to be good junk can't this be any junk no 72 challenger for a reasonable price that's not bad ready to be rebuilt yep again almost english not quite ah. hey travis thanks for being a member for four months much appreciated everybody who's a member uh, you guys really help make things happen. Everybody does. All of you do, but members especially. Let's see here. Ooh, 66 Fairlane for eight grand. No longer responding to, is this available? Well, you can't blame the guy for that. God, I hate selling things on Marketplace. It, it brings out the dumbest human beings available. It's not bad. Uh, Matt, thanks, man. What are your thoughts of the Ford Panther platform? Largely indestructible. 4.6 is a largely untunable engine. But, you know, uh, they're fine. They're a good, solid engine. They run forever. Uh, I got nothing bad to say about them. I got the torque motor problems, you know. Nathan, welcome to the Low Buck Club. Hmm. I don't know. That's, I'm kind of running out of crackheads, guys. I, I'm a little disappointed in the lack of crack. Ah, do, do, do. Yeah, you guys, uh, you just joined the Low Buck Club. Uh, make sure you check out the video. You can see early of the farm truck we just drove uh, home from Iowa. Where the F is our freedom of speech. Welcome to the Low Buck Club. Our freedom of speech is so free that I can't say your name. Herc has been a member since the very beginning, and we really appreciate him. 77 Corvette. Bill of sale only. So that's a big red flag because it's a fairly desirable car. It should have a title. Oof. <laughs> you know, at least that's easy to fix. John McCord, thank you so much. You make sure you go check out the new... Uh, uh, farm truck video on the new farm truck 2.0 this time it's pissed off and uh yeah I, you know this bed is look at that she's got a four speed in her i'm tempted to buy this where's stafford missouri I, i'm afraid if i click on this it's going to end up opening a new tab and you guys aren't going to be able to see it uh Cuck V Garage has been a member for 10 months, and he's a moderator of our Facebook group. You could also, guys, go check out our Facebook group and my Facebook page. Uh, there's usually daily postings on there. You guys can talk, and, you know, I'm, I'm on there all the time. It's probably the best way to get a hold of me, honestly. I'm tempted to buy this car just to pull the four-speed stuff out of it. L82 valve covers, guys. Irish Outlaw Garage is been a member for nine months I see a lot of new members on here but it's not it's a dollar a month to join I, I will not ever raise that unless youtube forces me to uh, let's see here 
Oh, wait, I actually, I do know here. I'll put a link in here. Uh, why is my caps on? God. YouTube.com slash full barn garage slash join, I think. I'm pretty sure that is the, the that is the way. I think that's the way. How do I pin this? I can't pin it. Are you kidding me? I, I StreamYard has its limitations. Yes, I've met Derek. Uh, let's see. So I think if you guys click that link right there, and I'll copy that. Oh, shoot. No, get back here. Uh, copy link address. Yeah, if you guys just click that, and I'll just occasionally toss that back up, I guess. That's how you join. That. All right, anyway, sorry about that, guys. Oh, thanks, this old truck. <laughs> had me at, I have no sponsors, no lift, and no heat. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, we do occasionally get some uh, sponsors, but, uh, you know, not too many. Try to try to avoid it. Hey, hello from Ontario. I'll take a minute just to go through these comments here with people. I've kind of, kind of been stuck in the uh, marketplace. Let's let a new page load up. And, uh, Bill, uh, can we do a live sometime? Uh uh, so I do do members only lives on occasion. If that's what you mean. Let's see here, Uncle Rico, No Name Nationals probably not going to happen this year. Uh, anything new on the goat? You bet your ass there is. Uh, we are uh, Irish Outlaw Garage built or had. The Holy Ghost numbers matching transmission rebuilt, and we're going to be reinstalling its numbers matching Turbo 400 back in the car. That's one big component of its original drivetrain that survived all those years back in it. Uh, that's going to be kind of monumental for me personally, anyway. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, not too much right now. Uh, let's see here. Grease Belly Garage. Welcome, John. Welcome, Mark. Welcome. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, and Functional Histories. Check them out. They just made a Hot Wheels of the Holy Goat and every other car I own, which they're just too generous for. Now, uh-oh, 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 crackhead alert, crackhead alert. <clears throat> see here. Uh, will the motor ever go back in it? Yes, eventually, but it's going to cost a fortune in machine work, guys. If you've never put a motor together, I just don't know how to explain it to you, but it's going to cost a fortune to do, like, at least $10,000, and I don't have that. I'm not, I'm not Derek, you know, I'm not by script garage. I don't have that kind of scratch, not yet, and he didn't either when he started out. I mean, that's not a knock, but I think people relate me to that more than maybe they should. Um, let's see here. Okay, you know what? He's not on as much crack as I thought he was. I'm a, wait, 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 wait. What is that? How do I zoom? Can I zoom into this image? No. I am so technologically inc inconsiderate. Chase, nobody is line boring, honing, putting new main caps in something, uh, fluxing it, putting two sleeves in it. They're not. It's not happening for uh, to two grand. It's never going to happen. It's a, the engine needs a lot of help, guys. It's not just your regular old rebuild, you know. That's an FM converter. It doesn't look like an FM converter. Maybe. I, I don't know. It is a hidden headlight RS, I guess. So that is worth something. A <laughs> record player. Hey, Corey, thank you. Mike, thank you. James, thank you. Uh, well, I'm going to say he's a level six crackhead. 
Will, I've done lots of Will It Runs. I've done a few of them on the Dodge truck, etc. Not all Will It Runs run <laughs> in real life. However, next week's video is a Will It Run and Drive Home, which you'll see if we did it or not, especially if you join the Low Buck Club for 99 cents a month. Let's see here. How long till the sled races? Uh, they are, what, February 25th, like that weekend, I think. Jesus. That's a monster. I've I never been into that look, though. I know, like, Freiburger and Finnegan are big time. I don't know. Not my thing. That's cool, though. Look at that. It's a sprint. That. Oh, he has the six cylinder. So that would be an overhead cam six with a four barrel. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. No title, though. Oh, Luke, dude, you are too generous. Ten people are going to get memberships now because of you. Thanks, dude. Not for sale. I mean, it clearly is. Guy. Here's a Cougar. Somebody asked about Cougars. Nice driver quality. AC car, compressors off, deluxe Marty report, runs and drives great, no leaks. I don't know, is that car worth $17,500 these days? You can tell the paint's dead on it. It looks like lacquer, so it would have to be stripped. Uh, I don't know. Is that car worth it? I don't think it is. I think it's maybe twelve. dollars 68 Firebird, 354 speed, ragtop. I think I'm buying this over that. Uh, I'm buying this over that Cougar for sure. It's a 350 HO, and then he goes into a bunch of numbers and whatever. It's one of or something. Who cares? It's not bad. It's not bad. Four speed. I think that's a fair deal for 15 grand. All right, there's a little step side, 68. I'm sure he wants a million dollars for that. Oh, a Roadrunner, huh? You know, I sold mine for $3,600 and nobody would buy it. So I, I'm sure this guy's going to get some tankers on this. He has no picture of the data plate either, so it's probably a satellite. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Yeah, I sold mine for 3600 bucks, and it ran and moved. And nobody would buy it. I had it. Oh, hey. Whose Cougar is... Who wanted a Cougar as a dream car? There you go. Two grand. Anderson, Indiana. Look, it's got hood pins on it for performance. That's not bad, guys. I mean, who knows what the unibody looks like, of course. But that's a builder. That's a buildable car. It doesn't look that bad at a glance. Oh my God. Holy meth drug dealer crackhead. Oh my Lord. Ooh, look at it. Oh my God. It's marvelous. <laughs> hey. Tons of new parts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at that spoiler. <laughs> Look at the sticker bombs. They're all faded. There's a Kentucky Fried Chicken sticker on the side of it. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't scream 80s. That screams douchebag. <laughs> Uh, at least he ditched the uh, crossfire injection. Oh, my God. What a joke. <laughs> oh, man. 79 vet, $6,500. 
Council Bluffs, Iowa, 350 carb intake. It's uh, automatic, looks like. Uh, T-tops, of course it is. Duct tape door panels. That's full custom there. That's uh, probably not worth it. All right. 19. I don't remember where we're at. Whatever. Let's go 69. Uh, one of my favorite numbers. Uh, let's see here. Um, hey, Torito. 3500 bucks for that. Terrell, Texas. That car is worth it. No title, no trades. Body's decent. A lot of parts, complete car. You can get a title for a car. It doesn't take that much work. It just takes, you know, a little willingness to be sketchy. You know, it's too bad somebody obviously tried to shut the hood on it with the rusted hood here. Because otherwise, that car is very straight. You talk about patina, the laziness of not painting cars, right? Well, this is one I think you can get away with. That's got a great look to it, except for the mismatched door. I would try to match that. But the are both doors mismatched? No, just the one. But that hood is a killer. That sucks. Still, that's a good deal. Somebody ought to snag that baby up. I am not made out of money, people. I, I, I can't buy this. Unless 3,500 of you join the Low Buck Club. And even then, I'm probably not buying it. That's a good, that's something. Short bed, huh? Has a 5.3 and a 4-speed in it. Not finished like most LS swaps. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. That's a, that's a really neat little truck. Let's see here. There's a 69 Dart for five grand in Houston. Oh, Arling. I mean, it's not a bad looking car. It's not my thing. It's slant six. I don't see how that's worth $5,000. Hmm, what else we got here? Okay, here's another car that's never, ever worth $8,000. 305, can you imagine a 305 pulling that around? I'm also pretty sure it'd be a 350. Look, it's got rust in it. It's missing a hubcap. It's missing trim. It's trashed inside. They couldn't even be bothered to pick up the garbage out of it. Custom car sales with Ks. Look at that, huh? Custom car sales. You tell you, you. Everybody should go tell them how smart they are. Uh, oh my God! Look at that filler. Eight thousand dollars. No title. Owner is deceased. That's a derby car, man. That's a five hundred dollar car. You're right, Irish. I mean, at best, you take that to a demo derby, you probably do fairly well. But that car's worthless. Oh, look. How original. Nobody's ever seen one of those before. Runs and drives, though. I mean, honestly, that's probably one of the most reasonable chargers I've seen in a while. There's a car that I don't understand why it's worth money. Remember Kid Rock drove one of these in Joe Dirt? There's a reason for that. Running, driving, beautiful, original. I can see paint peeling off of it. The body side molding is missing. Oh, there's his phone number. Sorry, dude. Uh, anyway. Uh, man. That, that car is $21,500. That's... Whoa, no, dude. That's like maybe a $5,000 car. Maybe seven in today's market. It's not twenty one thousand. Uh, hey Rick, uh, message me if you would like tips on how to acquire said tittleage. 
Uh, uh, super overpriced 69 Camaro. What a shock. Uh, ooh. Now, there's a car that I passed up on a long time ago. And nobody cares what a car sold for at Barrett Jackson, all right? Nobody cares. That means nothing in the real world. Barrett Jackson has ruined the car hobby for everybody. Uh, let's see. But I passed up on a red one of these, and I missed it by a day. I, I couldn't get the money together to buy it. And I've, I've always kind of regretted that since. I know they're pieces of crap. I don't care. It's really cool, though. I mean, come on. Isn't that neat? I'd be driving around being like, my name's Bond, James Bond, all the time. It's too cool. I would never want a midget, though, or, or the, any convertible, or, you know, I would only want the coupe, especially because it's ugly. Oh, 69 Galaxy Ragtop. I'm all out of beer. He's got two of them for three grand. I don't know. I don't see that, but maybe somebody's into those cars. Oh. Starting to get carpal tunnel from this, guys. I'm going to have to file a work comp report. Uh, here's a little Datsun. That's kind of different. A little 280Z. It's got a LW74L47EWABCEFG uh, with an LW78948Niner head with a 79L4080-70 bazooka block. And the, uh, you know, lots of more numbers and acronyms. That's pretty cool. Uh, hey, Cadillac Smith, welcome to the Low Buck Club. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, it does, if it's not like double hump heads and hopping Coke cans, well, I don't know what it means. How about an X-Type Jaguar? That's something you don't see every day. Is that car worth it? Probably. Oh, look, I could donate plasma and go buy it. Well, <laughs> then I can really pretend to be uh, James Bond. Richie, you just messaged me on Facebook. I didn't see your super chat. I guess I did, but... uh. Zoom in on Facebook photos, right click, open image and new. Oh, see if I open it in a new tab, Richie, though, it uh, then you can't see it because of the way StreamYard works. I knew that was one way to do it, but I didn't know if there was a way you could actually zoom into it in that browser tab. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. And yeah, people, that proves right there. You shoot me a message on my Facebook page. Preferably my Facebook page, uh, not my personal one, but uh, I generally ignore them if they go to my personal account. But if you shoot it to Pole Barn Garage Facebook and follow me there, I mean, I'll get back to you. I mean, shoot, I'm sure a lot of people in here will tell you I, I'd like to talk to people. It's not a big deal. I know a lot of YouTubers ignore everybody, and I'm just not into that. So that's not a bad deal here, 1500 bucks. Uh, runs, needs TLC, can drive while you work on it. Oh, boy. Seriously, that's not a bad deal. Uh, trade for guy. Wait. Wait a second. My brother bought this truck. Did. Hang on. How much is a bucket of blood worth? I don't know. Can you just walk in with a bucket of blood and sell that to them? How about is a bucket of plasma? Where do you get a bucket of plasma? 
see here. Uh, here we go. We have the 1970 Don't Know, Don't Know. Uh, Nigo la ok. Uh, and that translates to Nigo la ok. Yes, of course. Uh, that's not a bad looking little camper, though. This is kind of, I don't know why I'm looking at this, but a nice little camper, really. Yeah, I told them I had three kidneys to sell them, and they weren't really into that. Don't know why. Don't know why. How do you gift memberships? That's a good question. I think you click on the little dollar sign. Uh, I don't know, because I have it pulled up on my phone. I would think I would be able to do that. But I guess I'm too dumb to figure out how. Not surprising. Hey, guys, make sure you're hitting that like button, too, because I think we only don't have too many likes. So if, if you're in here, just hit that like button, please. It makes all the difference in the world if you just take two seconds, not even that, and click that like button on any video. Seriously, that makes or breaks YouTube channels. I mean, I'm just telling it to you straight. I'm not going to try to, like, lie to you. You know, not give you some BS reason for it. It helps me. That's why. Stephen Runyon, Cash for Cluckers, killed so many of these beauties. Uh, yeah, you're right. And especially when you're looking for cars like I kind of want, like a, a 90s GM car. is something I want to replace my Malibu I just got rid of today. And uh, they're all gone. I mean, thanks to Cash for Cluckers. So we really appreciate that. So, uh, guys, I have an idea here, and we're going to see what happens. This is going to be con pretty controversial. Uh, let's see. So this is a pretty good deal, I think. 71 Chevelle, $5,000. Uh, title of hand, no motor, no trans, factory four-speed. Okay, never mind. It's not worth as much as he wants, but it's probably worth, I don't know, three. And he would probably get that out of it. I'm sure, it's been on here. Yeah, it's only been on here for four days, so he'll learn soon. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I bought a 71 or 72 Chevelle and painted it in the Mexican flag and called it the Santa Ana for just, you know, no particular reason? And I'm just going to leave that right there. Oh, looky here, another MGB GT. Fun little MG. Uh, he has the carbs off. Uh, distributor was just rebuilt and recurved. Uh, that's not bad. These are side draft carburetors, correct? They're kind of weird like that. Wow, Mark. Thanks, guys. Meth dependence. Oh, we could do, I could just call it the dependence Chevelle, right? And we could just cover it in welfare checks. I mean, that would help. and, uh, yeah. But are these a side draft car? I don't know. Two Mustangs to make one complete car. That's a lot better looking than that other fastback we saw. Oh my god, that's a do-it-yourself kit. Somebody's taking the whole damn... <laughs> Eleanor got a uh, mastectomy on that one. Wow. Let's see here. That's a solid looking car though, honestly. Where are you at? Kansas, huh? Oh, that's scary. That's close. What do you want for them, though? Make offer. No, not make offer. Tell me what you want for it. Smart number one rule of negotiation. Never make the first offer. Let them tell you the first offer. Get a number out of them first, and then you can kind of gauge just how stupid they are. All right, then. Let's see. We haven't found a good crack yet for a while, but I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. Oh, well, crackhead alert. I mean, not really, but uh, I don't know. It's, I, it's I think it's probably bringing 105 grand at an auction, but you know, you're not 
that on Mark. What the hell? Where are all these MGBs coming from? A thousand bucks for three of them? Oh, no. Not all three. I bet you. Oh, all three for 1800 I bet you could get all three of them for maybe 1400 Oh, wouldn't that be a blast? This is why I need to go full-time YouTube, because I'd go down to Arkansas and just spend a weekend making one of these things run and dry. I try to drive it home. As it is, I just can't do that because I have to, like, you know, go to work like a normal person and stuff. But, you know, I mean, I guess that's what makes me maybe a little more relatable to you guys at the same time. But still, I'd sure like to go get that baby running. Looks like a checkered cab and a Jaguar had a baby. Oh, Alex, I might get in trouble. Oh, I really care about that. Oh, my God. Look at the wheels on that. Okay, it's got the smooth firewall. I don't, I've never been a fan of a smooth firewall. I don't know about you guys. I kind of like the factory dimples and holes and stuff. It looks better. Oh, my. Whoa. What? What? No. Swivel buckets are cool. It's got the Quicksilver cheesy-ass ratchet shifter. It's got... Oh, look at the dash. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. I just had to... Oh, my God. What the hell? You know, it's listed by part seller, part seller. Oh yeah, look at that. He got the he got the boom booms in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I think I'm good. Aren't these little piece of craps pretty uh, valuable, actually? I thought these stupid little cars are kind of desirable to somebody. Let's see here. What else we got? Still got over 600 of you guys in here. I really appreciate you all. Especially as late as it is. I don't know what time it is where you're at, I guess. But here it's uh, 10, 11. There's a 72 Le Mans, like my gold one. Uh, okay, it says 11 grand, 11 or best offer. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7,000. He's schizophrenic, can't make up his mind. Okay, see, here's total genius level. Okay, so there's his face, right? All these people faces. But thankfully, they scribbled him out here. <laughs> Government ain't gonna find him. <laughs> All right. Hey, CWBN, I don't know what your name is. But thank you for joining the Low Buck Club. I really appreciate you. 72, 72 Charger. Those cars are going through the roof for no particular reason. 72 Grand Torino. Hang on, guys. We might have found something here. It's in Fayetteville. Very rare first year car, I guess. Uh, no, dude, it's a knockback. It's not rare. The uh, floorboards are rusty with holes. Well, thankfully, that doesn't matter because it's only a, you know, unibody car. But, you know, that's probably a buildable car, though. Although, I can, if I can see rust holes in the roof at the moment, like right now, that probably doesn't bode well. Hey, Chip, better late than ever. Thank you so much. Mad Engineer, welcome to the Low Buck Club. Really appreciate that. I own enough square bodies, Tony. I've been on a kick of them lately. You're going to see one on the channel next week. Uh, are you a member? No, you're not. So I wish I could just give you one. I would. You've been a subscriber forever. Uh, hold on. Well, we already looked at that one. That's a good deal, though, I think. Let's see here. But the patina. Here's a Delta 88. Somebody was asking about Deltas, and we got one. 
All right, it looks pretty rusty. It's in Wichita, 2,500 or best offer. It's a project car. No kidding. Although, i got to say, it's not bad. The cleanup work. Ah, oh, Chris, thank you so much. We're at a Z26 4000 by you. Uh, uh, that's a little more than I'd like to pay for a Beretta, but especially a Z26. That's a pretty good deal. Two grand. What about Craigslist? I hate Craigslist. There's nothing on Craigslist. You have to pay to put your cars on Craigslist. There's literally nothing in my area on Craigslist. Except for a bunch of dealership cars. It's worthless. Will, click the dollar sign on YouTube. Okay, I'm clicking it. I can send a super chat to myself. I can free member milestone chat. Oh, wait. Oh, it's because I'm on my, I have two accounts. I actually have two channels, if you guys didn't know. The other one is PDG Extra is my other channel, and I use that one to kind of navigate YouTube on my own personal time. But there is some content over there. Uh, let's see here. There, now I'm signed in under mine. Click the dollar e sign. I still can't do anything. That's great. Hmm. Oh, hey, I figured out how to add mods, though. Okay. Who wants to be a mod? Thank you, Sean. Somebody, you know, hey, Irish, where are you at? You still in here? I want to make Cuck V a mod. There we go. Let's see here. Yeah, this is how you hire people, right? You just, uh, you just, you just ask, hey, you know, will you be a mod? James, you are pretty solid. All right. Holy cow, that got some comments flowing. There we go. All right, I got three of them. Mike, you're going to buy your way in, huh? Well, it worked. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right, we got four. That's probably more than enough. You just pay for five bucks. You can be a mod for five bucks. <laughs> All right. I, I think I don't I don't think I need more than four guys. <laughs> Banable. Hmm. If five bucks makes you a mod, ten bucks. Ten bucks, I will send you a sticker. How about that? But you'll have to send me an email to remind me. I have a strange 20 bucks save us downtown. Oh, we're going to go downtown. <laughs> anyway, uh, won't find one around like it. Money talk. Lot of new parts. That's a 442. Son of a bitch. Look at that. Who? How sketchy are you? Kind of. Looks like we have two mutual friends. I'm not going to click on that. Uh, I'll be damned. Look at that. Four grand for this. That's a... What? Okay. I... What is going on here? Uh... What is this exactly? Why does he, is, was he tying up a hog in here? Paul Combs, send me an email. I'll send you a sticker. What? Uh, PPGDalton, gmail.com. I can definitely drop one of those in the mailbox for you. Won't find another, I mean, look, he even took a close-up of the knot. He was so proud of this knot. 
that he took a close up. It's nice and centered in the frame. The camera's focused on it. Uh, yeah, and also, guys, you can go to the shop. I have a bunch of new uh, merch in there, actually. And you can go buy a hoodie, a hat, shirt. These hats are pretty nice, actually. Travis, Jesus, thank you. Uh, anybody who sends me an email, I'll throw a sticker in the mail for you. How about that? I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm probably going to get 600 stickers. God dang it. Wait, wait. Somebody sent me a message on how to zoom in on things. Oh, control and scroll the mouse wheel. No kidding. Okay. Oh, my God. What is the emailing? <laughs> I'm I haven't had a smoke in hours and I'm out of beer. Okay. I, I you got to send me your info guys. I'm not I'm not Jesus, okay? I can't just like look it up, all right? Let me bust out the yellow pages. Here, I'll type it down here. It's up to you to find it. I think I found the beautiful car. This is it. A crackhead has clearly owned this vehicle. Whoa, what the hell? You lied to me. What is going on? What the? No, stop. Look at that. I bet she's got most of her teeth. Anyway, let's, uh, okay. Oh, God. Hey, hey, looky here. 79 AMX. We got uh, Austin from Loot Core in here, by chance. Hey, Buzz Roadkill Customs is in here. That's awesome. No information. Okay. Pretty cool car, though. 72 Yamaha Enticer. Oh, look. Look who it is. It's Kevin Brown. Well, message me if you have any vintage sleds you'd like gone running or not. Let's send him a message. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that because I don't know what's in our chat. <laughs> Right there is how you join. But yeah, this is, he's looking for sleds. So Kevin is looking for sleds in Iowa. He's in Ames, Iowa, that area. So if you have a snow machine, he's still looking. But right now, they are in Alabama at the 24 Hours of Lemons. Uh, let's see. 72 LTD. Okay, I'm getting the emails. You guys are going to have to bear with me because there's probably going to be a lot of them. Sorry. Hiccup. I'm sorry. Hiccup. Okay. Needs new top. Three grand, though, for a ragtag anything isn't too bad. Hello. Here's a square body. All right, so she's a 74, she's a C25, so it's a two-wheel drive. Uh, needs work. Camshaft is wore out on number four exhaust. Oddly specific. Dude, it's got the full flotation rear, not full floating. Full flotation. You throw that bitch in the lake, and it's just going to float. And, uh, yeah, but it doesn't look too bad. However, in my mind, that is still a $500 car at best. Uh Chayton, you've been around since this was Rippendales? Holy crap. I'm probably amazed by that every time you tell me. 
Oh my God, it has. I, I'm going to cut this off at two hours, guys. I, I didn't realize I've been doing this this long. Good thing we've accomplished absolutely nothing. This is great. Let's see. Yeah, the guy, there's still some good cars out here, though. I don't. Do you think 1500 is fair for that GMC? I don't. I think it's a thousand bucks at best. I could go find a four wheel drive for that much with a blown up motor. There we go, a little 67. I know you guys could probably tell I have an affinity for 67 and 8 Mustangs. One of these days, I'll have to uh, bust out some of my dad's old pictures of cars and we can go through them. That would be a fun little live stream, wouldn't it? But uh, that that's why I really have an affinity for 67 Coupe in particular. I really like that. I don't know how many people are my age, but the intro to the Driver 1 PS1 game, a 67 Mustang, guys walking through the parking garage, steals the 67 Mustang Coupe in the parking garage, runs from the cops out of it. And when I was a kid, I'd watch that, and it just, like, burned into my head that I need to evade the police in a 67 Mustang Coupe in a parking garage. Twelve hundred bucks for this Vega ain't bad. Driver, that intro to Driver though, the tutorial is so hard. I still don't know if I can beat that. I had my brother beat it for me when I was a kid. It's a four-speed. I'll be damned. You know, I'd be hard pressed to uh, actually remove that. Is that a cost worth? I don't know. I think it'd be tough for me to actually hang that. Here's a Blazer for 2500 Runs and drives. Needs some attention. It's an 88, so that's a TBI. With the 700 R4. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, 2500 It's got two fenders on it, you can tell. It does, it's got rocks in the quarters, but not too bad. The rockers are there, which is better than all of my vehicles. I don't know why it says burb on the license plate. That's not a burb. It has floors. What? Dash pad looks nice. Oh, my Lord. Look at that headliner, boys. Dolby, damn, that's beautiful. Oh, God. <laughs> He got a close-up. Mm, mm. But that's a good deal, guys. So that's what I mean. Like, not everything is overpriced. Just go look, uh, you know, you just got to dig around, look around a little bit. You might have to go drive for it, but so what? There's another Roadrunner. Oh, I accidentally clicked on this. Instead. Oh, God, no. That's, that's a basket case. LSD headliner. <laughs> Three eighty three four speed sixty nine road now. Wow, I was about to say it's pretty good. I don't know; it's probably worth it, I guess. But you know, that would have been the perfect one to combine with mine and make one if I didn't hate it with every ounce of my being. But uh, yeah. 72 Ford Gremlin. You can't even get that right. With a Chevy motor. 331 small block. Okay, so it's what? A 30 over 327? Ted, welcome to the Low Buck Club. Okay, Paul. Hey, what's going on? We're just checking out some cars. This thing's pretty cool. Dang it. Get back. It's got big old Hoosiers on it. Big cow. It's got a Gremlin in the grill. Guys obviously got money. I mean, look at that RP. Little aluminum headed small block of some kind. Yeah, it's neat. It's neat. Not my style, but it's neat. Well, look, it's the world's worst carbon gear. Couple Opal GTs. See, here's this blazer. Four grand. Looks significantly rustier. Rockers are gone. It's got big dumb tires on it. The interior's worse. Doesn't have a trippy headliner. 
Rockers are gone, that's for sure. Uh, and it has the awful billet grill. Every, all of these should be scrapped. That should be a law. If you have a billet grill, they should be removed forcibly and scrapped. Bigden. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, man. Now that doesn't scream 80s. Look at the appliance mags on that. The brand new 327 has under a thousand miles on it. So that's so random. Like, why would you do that? That's pretty cool. Though, honestly, I kinda I kinda dig the over the top, like, yeah, I sell cocaine aesthetic that's going on here. Seventy-eight Pontiac Firebird formula. What is this, man? I mean, come on. Just download the picture. And here's another twenty-five hundred dollars. Lowest I do is two thousand. Okay, so your price is two thousand dollars, not twenty-five hundred dollars. Ingus. Roadkill Customs gifted fifty memberships. Oh my goodness, get in, get, get in there while the getting's good, guys. God, before you know it, everybody in here is going to be a member. Just in time, too. Seventy four vet. So the seventy four vet, see how the tail panel's, you know, missing here? Well, it's actually still there. It's just imaginary. But uh actually what is going on here is seventy four specifically had a recall because the urethane they made that rear cover out of was uh it wasn't UV resistant. So if it sat out in the sun, it would literally disintegrate and fall apart. Just like that. It's probably been that way for fifty years. That's a four-speed car. I'll be damned. I have everything to fix this car. Hmm. I love that. God, I I only need nine thousand more of you to join. I mean, is that really too much to ask for? <laughs> well, seventy-five Camaro for eight grand looks decent. Trade for Silverado. Uh, looks kind of weird in there, not going to lie, but yeah, it's not a bad looking car. Clearly, it's functional. It's missing the back bumper, which is a good thing on that car. Uh, yeah, that's, yep. That must be El Royce Camara. Uh, let's see here. Little kids Yamaha, that's cool. 68 cutlass convertible, those are neat. Do 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 let's see here. Now yeah, there's a decent looking blazer right there, 87. Looks pretty solid with wheel well. It's probably 99% bondo, uh, which is fine by me. I don't care. Four out of the eight body mounts are rusting out, but still there. What a random thing to notice. You know, normally that means the floor is gone, etc. Oh, come on. If you consider that rusting out, there ain't no way we can drink beer together. Anyway, let's move on from that one. And do, 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 do. You know, that's a. These bull-nosed Fords are something that's kind of coming back into uh, popularity. And I'm, I'm glad for that. Because, boy, you know, they're kind of an ugly truck. But they have their place, you know. Except for the wide block. That's, that is one of my most least favorite engines ever. The wide block. He's got some good stuff in there. There's a, like a Skylark back there. He's got a square body sitting in front of it. That's what it could look like. 
Let's see here. What else we got? Anything good? 70 Buick LeSabre, 650 bucks. 350 engine, no title. It's a two-door. Does it got the front bumper on it? It does. What kind of shape is it in? I, I missed it. I mean, it's ragged to hell, but that's so worth 650 bucks. You can get a title for a car. It's not that big of a deal. That front bumper is worth probably his asking price of that car. For somebody with an Electra, uh, that quarter, I could pound that out in an afternoon. That's nothing. But I should buy this and circle track race it. So there's an Enduro racing season coming on uh, this year around here in Butler, Missouri. Every weekend, they're going to be racing for points in an Enduro race. And how all these guys are going to show up in like their, you know, actual race cars or like little Cavaliers and stuff. What if I brought this land yacht? It's a tank. I mean, nobody's messing with me in this, right? Get out of my way or die. That's, that's what's going to happen. Tempting. That's in Warrensburg, right here. You can tell by where it says Warrensburg. Uh, so let's look. Let's see. Who's looking for a 99 Tahoe? I don't know. 60 Chevy. Somebody get uh, Mortsky on the phone, huh? I don't think he's in here. Sometimes he stops in. It's not a bad looking car. It's in Oklahoma. Go play some Choctaw Bingo, baby. No trans or drive shaft, but it's a V8. 283. Let's see here. Oh, dude, this is something I want. Look at this. So this is a KY-102 with a rock station here in Kansas City for a long time. Uh, and they're gone now. But this was a giveaway car of theirs or something like that. And it's just covered in KY-102 bumper stickers. Now, it, I, why he thinks this is worth $4,200 is beyond me. It's been listed for almost half a year. So you might think he might drop the price a little bit, but I would totally buy this for sure, 100%. If it was like 1500 bucks, which is what it's worth. It's, it's just been sitting for 15 years, so you know it's, it needs everything. But look at that. Isn't that just wild? I don't even know why I want that, but it's cool. Yeah, I guess it's a convertible. It's so desirable that nobody's bought it in six months. <laughs> so I, I think people really overestimate the value of old cars. Uh, and it's got nothing to do with inflation. It's got everything to do with stupidity. Let's see here. Ooh, 86 Burb? Are you a 4x4? Four four? No, she's a 2 wheel drive. That's too bad. Uh, 14 bolt with a posi. It's not a posi. That's a gov bomb, baby. 2,500 bucks, though. I mean, that's not bad. It originally belonged to the city of Topeka Bomb Squad. Ooh. Does it come with bombs? Uh, bombs and bomb accessories. Ooh. Let's see here. Oh, 74, 78 Nova, sorry. Tornado. Boy, that'd be a good driver. Front wheel drive. I'm graduating college. Need to raise some funds. A running project. 455 olds. Literally everything brake related has been replaced. Literally. Literally. The Kia needs rebuilt. It has an Edelbrock at the moment. Body's rusty. The worst of the trunk. I mean, that car is worth 2800 bucks, I think. But again, you need some more photos of it. But I'd probably snag that up. Jared, you should go look at that for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 
76 Granada. Hey, that's not bad. He's got a Zephyr, too. Ugh. Got a bunch of junk. Well, if Vance, it's pretty high, doesn't it? Isn't that a... I, mean, I don't see any hugs, though, so I guess it's probably not good. Oh, look, a D100. I should buy it. No. Uh, let's see here. No, I'm not seeing anything good there, really. See ya, Paul. I tried to buy this when I sold the uh, Roadrunner. It was right down the road from where I sold it. It's somewhere up by Beaver Crossing. And this car looks super good. It runs good, drives good. Uh, I didn't think it's, it was that bad at all. And I was going to try to drive it home. And uh, But the guy, he, I, he's like, yeah, I'll meet you, I'll meet you. And then he never got back to me. I had to pass on that. I had to come home empty. Yeah. Let's see here. 72 AMC Ambassador. That's different. Possibly a good circle track car. 304 engine. I believe the 304 engine will work in Jeeps. Okay. Probably. It will need brake work, new ignition, and a correct radiator to drive. Probably new tires also. No title. Yeah, I mean, it probably needs everything. But by the way, Chris, thank you for joining. Yeah, they won't let full-size trucks on at the track. So that is kind of out. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have circled track that red D100. Uh, because I hated it. Let's see here. 73 Silverado. Silverado. Been sitting for a while. 1650. If you don't like the price, go find another one. Well, guys, we have found several others. Uh, so if you want to sell something, try not to be a dick in your ad. Bye. Uh, let's see here. Uh oh. Crackhead alert? Oh. Oh, oh, look, he's standing on the brakes and doing a one-wheel peel barely down the block at three and a half miles an hour. Boy, isn't that impressive? 50, he wanted $15,000 for this. Running good, original everything, even the sets and rims and tires all new. What? Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh? Doesn't that scream? We found full-blown crackhead. Donald Nat, welcome to the Crackhead Club. Congratulations. Wow, that's great. Look at the Underdash CD player barely hanging in. That's cool. I mean, you know, it's trashed inside. You know, this car in completely restored condition might bring $7,000. Look at the door gap right here. You see that? The gap and the fender and door, the hood here. So that hood is bent and twisted. Probably not salvageable. Here's a little maverick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Minor crackhead alert. We have a four-door 73 Maverick for $3,500. And uh, I broke <laughs> Now... That's a really clean V8 Maverick. Runs and drives great. Tires are old. However, it's a four-door Maverick. That has got to be one of the ugliest cars ever produced. I mean, some cars look fine in a four-door. That's not one of them. Also, look at all the wiring dangling out of the dash. I'm going to guess it's a car dealer, and it's probably not as nice as it looks. Uh, let's see. Do, do what else we got? I know I said I was going to cut this off. How about a Polara? Hey, it runs. Runs and drives. Has new radiator drive shaft. Uh, it's buried in snow. Oh, that sucks. Where do you live? Minnesota. Oh, God. I guess I will be up there in a month. 
hasn't been started for four or five months. That's a solid looking old Polara, though. I don't think I can circle track that. Uh, I don't know. But man, you talk about a tank. Oh, oh my God, I guess it's buried. Never get out of there. This lifted Nova has given me ideas. Bad ideas, actually. Look at that. My mullet is tingling just looking at that. It's beautiful. I love it. It's not worth 4500 bucks. It's got expand a foam quarter panels. Those are full custom. But it's not worth 4500 bucks. Sorry. Well, 73 Bonneville. Are you a driver, possibly? Hey, it's in Effingham. Jay, what do you know about this? Uh, two doors sitting on 15 inch rally, two wheels. Yeah, that's what they came with, genius. Uh, Posse track, rear 400 motor and trans. Hmm. I'd like to have that for 1200 bucks. Might need that. And I do remember flat out. Yes, I do. Uh, I've been, you know, 15 years since I played it. Let's see. Oh, what else we got? Parting out a square body. What year are you? Oh, my God. I bought something from this guy once. I wasn't impressed. So I need a driver's door for a square body for the step side. But I'm very picky, and I want it to be a 73 to 76 door only. And uh, I'm having a hard time judging. That looks like it's 74, right? I might have to hang on. Do, 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 do. Is this still available? Let me just let you guys in on my personal life here. <sighs> yeah, I left the door up there, Colton. I know that. I forgot. But it also needed some work, so. Ah. Anyway, there we go. All right. Well, guys, I think I'm done for the night. Ah, oh, I think I'm done. I can only take so much crackhead, you know, absorption through the night. So, uh, I have absorbed my maximum capacity. Anyway, uh, it was really fun. Thank you to everybody who joined the membership. Uh, really, really appreciate every one of you. And uh, I'll, uh, tomorrow I'm going out to work on the step side again. Uh, we're going to be what well, we are. We got the brakes done and bled this week. Uh, and I bought some front end uh, steering components for it, some shocks for it. Uh, so it'll be finishing up the mechanical end of it. Then the video after that, you're probably going to see some body work get done. Uh, if I don't work on the Eagle in the meantime, a little, a little bit. Got a few things I want to finish up on the Eagle SX4. Uh, nothing that's going to take more than one video to do. God, I hope. Oh, anyway, I gotta get to bed. So, uh, been up since what, four o'clock this morning, and 
working and stuff. Anyway, I'll, thank you, Wisconsin Anderson. So glad I drug that out just so you could help me out with that. Appreciate it big time. Uh, you said some fan. Okay, so that means I need to go check my PO box. I am the worst at checking my PO box. I check it like every you know three months. They hate me at the post office. Actually, they, they're not fans. Not fans. Anyhow, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Let's do this again. That was a lot of fun, actually. Maybe not two and a half hours worth, but it was a lot of fun. So uh, I'll see you guys next time on Whole Barn Garage.